Hi, it's Colleen from Enhanced Learning Skills for Kids. Happy Friday. I'm making this video from home today. Um, and since it's Friday, I do try to work from home, you know, as much as I can. And I want you to just have some patience because I have several animals. I have cats and dogs. Uh, it's sort of like a zoo here at my household. My kids love the animals. So just bear with me if you hear background noises or you might see like a cat or hear a dog bark, okay? But I wanted to just give you um, a quick welcome video, but to introduce you to some of um, some pertinent information that you may not know about as parents when it comes to trying to help your child in school academically. And a lot of us, um, in myself included, like I had no idea of this until I started doing a lot of research um, over a year ago. Uh, have an idea really about how our brain learns and then how your child's brain learn and school doesn't really get into all of that with you uh, as parent you know parent to teacher they basically let you know that either your child is having difficulty in an academic subject they might recommend tutoring um, or if it is severe enough meaning that they're not able to keep up with class then you get into your whole pre-referral process where the teacher is recommending that your child actually get tested and what they're looking for is really um, a measure of the difference between their overall um, average of their cognitive skills versus their ability within the academic subject. And if there's, there's a big difference there, then um, they'll work with your child. But what you need to know as parents is that whole part around the average of the cognitive ability, you know, what that all means. So I decided to um, do a couple of these videos. So for the first welcome video, uh, my service is here at um, Enhanced Learning Skills for Kids. What I do is I, I start to um, empower you as mom and empower your child to better understand how the brain learns and then improve uh, your child's ability to learn and then move on from there to then address the academic issue. So um, it's a very involved uh, process, but it's not difficult. It doesn't take that long, and there's several approaches to doing it, meaning um, how much of myself is involved to coach you, um, which I do for some families. I hold their hand through the entire thing. Most of my families will work with me uh, where they'll pay for my services anywhere for three to six months, but we still talk, keep in touch, and do planning and, and different kind of consultations. Uh, a year later and um, you know so their payments may end pretty quickly but then they still work with me and it takes about a good year for your child to be able to plant the seeds that they need to as far as stronger skills go for their ability to learn and then to actually see all these results you can see results as quick as a week after you start doing all of this work and um, for some kids, the kids themselves will see it right away. But where the parents are concerned, mom wants to see like the, the, the C grade, if you will, like a letter grade. Mom wants to see that or dad wants to see that get up to an A really fast. And that, you know, just takes a little bit of time and it depends on where your child is at. But um, all of my students have gone from C grades up to A grades. But the important thing really behind the scenes there and not the letter grade so much is that the students will tell you themselves when they get up to that A grade they tell me it's not even about the letter grade they're just so relieved and happy that they actually get it now get it meaning like they get the subject matter being discussed before it was a lot of compensatory work where they'd sit in a classroom and they had the weak skills for that area so they couldn't really follow along but they had help from the teacher or from tutor or from mom and they got through it. When they go through the programs like I have, they're able to increase their ability to learn. So they actually are able to follow along, the connections are being made, they can retain the information, they can recall the information, and they can build upon each of the new knowledge transfer from their teacher. So when they go from grade to grade, it sticks. Where right now your child may be compensating so much that they start out and they compensate through that whole grade level and then they go to the next grade and um, like with math for example if they never really got their facts down or the actual um, concept around um, numbers if you will like number sense uh, then it's really difficult for them to be able to do this and grasp the concept so I'm gonna end the first video here and I hope that you'll follow along to listen to the next set of uh, videos coming your way well I'll begin to explain to you what you need to know 
as parents around how your child's brain learns and all the terms that you need to know and then how specifically we can help your child begin to um, bridge that gap to independent learner. Thanks.